everyone, how's it going? It's Doug, uh, developer on Blood Trail VR. And uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys and do like a really short, uh, quick video to let you know like what's going on, what's about to be going on, and everything that's going on, what we've been doing and stuff. So, um, basically, um, as you know, I'm sure, uh, if you've been following our other videos and following the game, uh, we've been working forever on this big experimental uh, update, this physical melee update is probably, you know, what we've been calling it, what we've been referring to it as. I don't know what the official name for the update is, but bottom line is we've been working on it for a long time. Uh, it's the update that adds all the physical melee fighting and all the cool stuff that you see in these videos. So, um, you guys have been helping out with that uh, on our experimental branch on Steam and uh, letting us know, like, what the bugs are and what we need to fix and all the stuff that we need to change. And so, some bugs, let me tell you, are harder than others. And we just had this past, I don't know, week, week and a half, been dealing with this bug. It was such a fucking pain in the ass. I can't even tell you. I use the F word on this dev blog because you better be able to hear that kind of language if you're playing this game, so fuck it. Um, this shit Oh my god, dude. The real is, the reason this was such a pain in the ass was because this bug wasn't happening for myself. It wasn't happening for Caleb. So we couldn't reproduce it on our end, but it was happening for our users. And what was happening was they would try to load RAID level 1 in our experimental branch, and then the whole game would crash on them. And it would give them this error message. And we were just like... You know, like, what the fuck, you know? But we fixed it. We finally... What, what's that? We fixed it. It's... It was a pain in the ass. We got it done. So now... It's bleh. bleh. So... Anyway. You know what? I gotta start another take on my camera because, you know, it's the old camera that has like five minute takes. One second. What the fuck was I talking about? Um, okay, so we got that done and now we've got the first three levels of RAID working for everybody again in experimental branch and you know what? At this point, we've been working on this update for such a long time. Uh, we kind of, uh, well, we got a problem, which is that uh, we got some people who are like seeing cool stuff in these videos and in other people's videos and just hearing about cool stuff with this update and then they're getting the game and then they're not knowing how to get on the experimental branch and they're getting upset. So you know what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to put this update out on our main branch and we're actually introducing a new branch where you can play the old version of the game. You'll always be able to play the old version of the game in a branch called the Legacy Branch. So, um, the same way that you would sign up for the experimental branch, which if you're signed up for experimental branch, you can stay on experimental branch. That's always the most cutting edge branch with the newest stuff. So we're going to continue to be introducing new features first in experimental branch and then bringing them onto the main branch. But anyway, try to stay with me on all these branches here. But, um, so we've got a new branch, which is the legacy branch and the legacy branch is the old version of the game, which, uh, we just replaced on Steam with this new version of the game where you'll have all the physical melee and everything. Uh, so if you want to play that old version, uh, you can always do that. You'll always be able to do that. It's going to run uh, really crappy and have lots of glitches and stuff. So uh, anyway, as far as the current main branch, as of today, it's going to be uh, basically the same as what's on the experimental branch. So you no longer, if you're a new player to the game, you no longer have to go through exactly the process of signing up for experimental branch if you don't want to, but you still can. And you're still going to get the newest, coolest stuff on experimental branch. It just happens to be that today, on this day, uh, those two branches will actually be the same, the main branch and the experimental branch. And so, okay, uh, the thing with that being said, um, on the main branch, if you were to go to main branch right now, you're only going to see three of the nine raid maps available. And the other six raid maps will be available really soon. And just the reason they aren't done yet uh, is just because they had a bunch of changes made to them that are really, really awesome. So they all have new layouts, new paths, and um, 
So uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna show you now a quick little preview clip of uh, just inside of one of the outposts and we'll see what you guys think. So, um, boom, there is that. So as you can see, uh, we got a little bit of daytime action going on in raid here. So, um, so there's that. And so I hope that that gets you guys excited about what's coming with raid. And, uh, so as soon as we get those raid maps done and out to you guys, which that should not take very long at all, uh, we will begin work on the, uh, legendary, um, foretold, uh, story mode which is going to be super, super dang. And um, I will be releasing some more videos soon. I got some new games, so I'll play some new games for you guys. And uh, I promise that we will have lots of uh, fun stuff to share with you guys soon. Oh, and I fixed Smooth Turning, which was horrible. Fuck you guys. Oh my god, dude. I got so fucking sick doing that shit. That people think, oh, you're a video game dev, you're not a... You don't have a tough job. I shovel, I shovel fucking lava. People think that I'm not tough because I'm a video game dev, but sometimes you have to be tough and sometimes you get really dizzy doing this shit. And when you have to debug smooth turning in VR, that's just about the physically most difficult thing that one could ask of a developer, I think, other than just really long hours with a bad chair, which I also, believe me, I got that covered. My chair sucks. Caleb has one of those really nice Aeron chairs, but I don't have one. I have a cheap chair. But Caleb doesn't have a casting couch. We spend our furniture budgets differently. So. That's how that goes. Oh yeah, I got the cover on the casting couch. You can't even see it probably in this frame, but uh, yeah, I, I normally rock a cloth cover on the casting couch to keep it fresh and good and keep the, the crumbs off of it. Alrighty, have a great day guys. Bye bye.